Let's get sweaty. Hey guys, welcome to another Shenmue Dojo Digest video. It's sort of a news video, sort of isn't. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Tokyo Game Show, or TGS, as some of you may know it. So, first and foremost, it's making its comeback as an in-person event over in Japan, um, obviously in Tokyo. The name doesn't quite give it away. Uh, it's on the 15th to the 18th of September, it dates inclusive, um, and it's quite frankly quite a massive show there's a lot going on i think there's over 600 booths and god knows what else there i'm, I'm jealous of people going going to it so if you are you know do give us a shout out from the tgs let us know what you think however i want to hone in a little bit on 110 industries again yes i know i keep banging on about this and it's gone very very quiet so first a quick round of where we are obviously we had the apple banana tweet we have the huge announcement tweet We've had some teasing since, and the most recent sort of teasing we had was the Boots tweet, and then obviously uh, Nathan popped out on um, on Twitter, hashtag let's get Shinmu 4. They said eventually it all got deleted. We then had the Game Rant interview with Yuzuki, who was a little bit confused, puzzled, maybe a little bit annoyed possibly, that 110 were tweeting about Shenmu. So if there was anything going on, I do wonder if he's got on the phone and, and told him to can it a little bit and and sort of be a bit quiet but who knows anyway that's where we are so they've been heavily linked with um Shenmue WiseNet for for probably about a year in fact because if you think about it um Yu Suzuki was in their opening reel for TGS last year and that's where the rumors all sort of started circulating so we are a year out from that no really further forward in terms of what the relationship is with 110 and WiseNet Yuzuzuki, other than we know that you know, they seem to be genuine fans of his, as we all are. It then comes in to their potential show. So they are having a stream uh, between 5 and 6 on the Sunday the 18th, that's Japan time of course, where I presume they're going to be showing Wanted Dead because we know that's now got a release date of the 14th of February 2023. I must say it looks really good. Um, I will probably be picking it up and hopefully they do a, f a physical collector's edition. I think they are, but I can't remember from, from the news that's been out there. They've also got this um, other racing title, which name um, eludes me right now, but I'm sure we can find it on, on their website, which hasn't had any gameplay footage yet. And also, they looked like they were shooting some sort of horror-themed TV show or game. And that was tweeted out a few months ago. An hour stream. So, with the best respect in the world, they're not going to spend an hour on Wanted Dead. That's been pumped up, pumped up and pumped up all through sort of um, Summer Games Fest, um, Gamescom... I think they've been at PAX as well, and I think they were at another show very, very recently in Europe. Um, game, uh, not games, kind of different one. But name's gone for me right now. It's quite late on a on an evening. I'm recording this, so you would assume that they are going to unveil some new projects. What those projects are, I don't know. Is it Shenmue 4? I don't know. But this sort of comes into now to what my expectations are around TGS. Frankly speaking, I have none. Absolutely none whatsoever. Um, with all the sort of the rumours around Shenmue 4 and 110 dying down a little bit, it suggests to me that they've had to either go dark or there may even, you know, potentially, worst case scenario, not been that link in the first place. Who knows? We have to wait and see on that one. But I'm not expecting anything Shenmue related. I'd absolutely love it. And Shenmue announcements have this habit of coming out of nowhere. I mean, you think Shenmue 3, yes, there was a forklift tweet, but there wasn't many other rumours at the time before that. And then the anime... The rumour got leaked and then whoop, there you go, here's the anime. And then subsequently the trailers, etc. came out with relatively little announcement towards them. So it wouldn't be out of character for Shenmue to have an announcement out the blue. I don't think we'll get anything this year. Um, for whatever reason, not, not just with 110, I think whoever, if, if anybody is involved in Shenmue 4 at this point, I think it's probably early stages. I don't know, I'm guessing. But they were pitching to publishers back in 2020, obviously... Covid put a lot of problems into that. Add in the fact as well, we know they pitched to Cock Media back, um, I think last year, which got batted off. So they may well still be working through 
other publishers and, and pitching for all we know. Also coupling in the fact they are still working on Air Twister um, with the recent update, which is 1.10 now. That's just come out. And I expect there's probably something going on as well because just updating a game like that isn't going to take a massive team over two floors, put it that way. So we just have to see where things line up. So as I say, my expectations are quite low. If you want to follow the Tokyo Game Show, then uh, it's IGN are doing it in the United States, and I presume they're doing the Western coverage as well. I would assume people like Easy Allies, etc., might also cover it. So if you like your streams that way, you might we want to pop them up on there. And what I'm going to do is on the screen coming up very shortly or very now is I will pop up the full schedule for everybody to have a look at, so you can pick and choose what streams you want to watch. Obviously, these are Japan times, so make sure you convert them over to whatever um, time zone you are in. So to close. The 110 rumours haven't gone away, but they have certainly simmered down. Fine. They are at um, TGS, and we know there's history there with WiseNet and 110 from the stream last year. So it is inherently possible that Yu Suzuki could pop up again for them. Who knows? I'm guessing. As I said, ex expectations, I would keep them low. But that doesn't mean we stop. You know, hashtag let's get Shenmue 4, fourth of every month. Just because it doesn't get announced at TGS or anything come out of TGS doesn't mean that we stop. There's plenty of other opportunities in the coming 12 to 18 months as to, for a Shenmue 4. If it goes beyond that, then we might have to start scratching our heads a little bit and see where we are. But for the moment, I wouldn't panic too much. What I would do is recommend that people do enjoy Tokyo Game Show because... Fingers crossed. There's also going to be a Metal Gear Solid collection coming out of that. I love Metal Gear Solid, so I am damn well going to be following that. And make sure, guys, that you um, tune into the streams. It's back in person at TGS again as well, so I, I anticipate it's going to be a really big event. But for now, guys, take care of yourselves. Have a good one. And I'll be back with a video probably towards October as I am going away. So have a good rest of month, and I will see you at the end of September slash early October. Take care, guys. Have a good one.